symmetry of equations. We're going to look at the symmetry of the equation in x and y in three different cases. The case that the equation in x and y is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. In the case that we replace x with a negative x, results the equivalent equation. For the case that symmetric with respect to the x-axis, we replace y with a negative y, results in an equivalent equation. For the last case, the equation in x and y is symmetric with respect to the origin. If we replace x with a negative x, y with a negative y results in an equivalent equation. For the graphical way, for the symmetric with respect to the y-axis, that means it flips from the left to the right, we replace the x with a negative x. Same, <clears throat> same form of the equation. And for the symmetric with respect to the x-axis, that means the upper portion reflecting to the lower portion. Or if we replace the y with the negative y, we get the same x value. And for the origin, basically, if you have the x and y, in one quadrant and or in the first quadrant. So when you replace the x with the negative x, y with the negative y, you get the equivalent equation. In summary, when we look at the function, the graph of the function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis if whenever the point x, y, is on the graph, the point negative x, y is also on the graph. And you see on the right hand side for the example, for the equation, the x is replaced with a negative x, the result will come up with the same form of the equation. This symmetry gives you that the function is an even function. In the case that it has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, if whenever the point x, y is on the graph, the point x, negative y is also on the graph. For the equation, you replace y with the negative y, it will give you the equivalent form of the equation. For the property of the function, we Neither say it's odd nor even for this case. And then the case that the graph had the symmetry or the function has symmetry with respect to the origin. If whenever the point x, y is on the graph, the point negative x, negative y is also on the graph. This case, the function is an odd function. And for the equation, you replace x with the negative x, y with the negative y. The result will come out the same or the equivalent equation of the original one. Let's look at the examples. For number one, we are going to determine whether the following function is odd, even, or neither. To check whether it is an even function or not, we're going to replace the x with the negative x. The result should be exactly the same as the original function. And for the odd, when you replace the x with the negative x, the result should be opposite of the original y function. So we're starting with part A, f of x equals negative x squared. To verify whether it's odd or even, we're going to start with the same thing by replacing x with the negative x and then see the result. So the input x squared will be the input negative x quantity squared with the negative sign in the front. So we have negative x squared, and it looks exactly the same as the original function. Therefore, this function is an even function. The next one, the function f of x equals x to the third minus x plus one. I'm gonna start with replacing x with negative x 
negative x to the third minus negative x plus one simplify to be negative x to the third plus x plus one. It looks like the first term opposite, second term opposite, but the last term is not opposite. So therefore this one not totally opposite and also not exactly the same as original function. Therefore, this case in the case of the neither, odd not even. The next example, function f of x equals x over two in the absolute value plus three, replace x with the negative x, absolute value of negative x over two, and then plus 3. For the absolute value function, it could be like the case of x as a negative or x as a positive. Or when you look at the graph, you would have the graph, like the V-shaped graph, and with the factor 1 half kind of flatter than the regular V-shaped graph and then added by C, something like this. So we can see that if you put x as a negative x, you will get the same function value. That's exactly the same as original one. Therefore, this one is an even function.